So again, just to let you guys know, this video is just for entertainment purposes only and just a quick demonstration. I am not affiliated or paid by any of these companies that I'm gonna be showing you the vacuums on and it is just purely for fun. So let's get on with it. Hola amigos, hola amigas, welcome, bienvenido, croiso y salam, welcome to the channel y'all, chest and yakshi mash, good day y'all. So today I'm going to be doing a house demonstration video using the Tinko X1 stick vacuum. And uh, first thing I'm going to do is vacuum the entire house on auto mode. Um, I mean, like every floor, every stair, every room, everything, I'm going to vacuum the entire lot in time lapse and then come back to you so enjoy So there we go, I hope you enjoyed that whole house demo. I did top to bottom and I got under as many things as I could. I haven't put it back onto the charge yet. Um, so this did auto all the way. And if I look on the app, if I look at battery, so it's still three bars left. So the whole of that vacuuming took about 20 minutes and it used two bars. But the moment that you put it on to max mode, the battery will just go like that and will only last about five minutes. So it has um, a run time of 70 minutes, but here is the big but. That 70 minutes is without it using any attachments. So that's without using any electrical attachments uh, or hoses. And it's just sat there in an ambient room switched on. So there are so many factors that affect the battery life of these machines and any machine. You can't take what is said by these companies um, as gospel because that is not the case at all. But that is the same with every single brand of machine. So, like I said, there we go. It's got that much battery left. It's asking me to clean the dustbin pre-filter and the cleaning status. Um, the app is pretty much okay, but it doesn't give actual battery life percentage, which is a bit disappointing really, that it doesn't actually do that. Um, so Tinco, please put on the percentage. That would be really, really helpful. Okay, so if we take the machine apart, there's the main body. Let's take a look at the floor head. Okay, so there's quite a lot of grime on the machine itself. Fine dust. The brush roller's got lots of stuff stuck to it, so it appears that it didn't really have the power um, unless it was on high to pull out this, so you do get lots of bits stuck. Not on the fluffy one, but you will get it on the um, the harder bristles. There are lots of bits 
stuck to it. Uh, and yeah, the plastic on this does get, it's like all of them that have a clear plastic lid, they will get dirty and dusty quickly, so you'll have to clean them. Maintenance on it is pretty quick. You just unclip this. Um, I'll do that in the next video. But uh, yeah, so yeah, I, I wish it wasn't white because that was that's really gonna look really grubby and disgusting after a couple of months. And there's lots of bits of dust and everything stuck to it. It doesn't look pretty at all. Hmm. All right. Okay. So that is the floor head. So that's half. Let's take a look at the main machine. So that is what it picked up on my whole house demo. So that's not too bad. I can see lots of bits of fine dust, but you know, a new broom always sweeps clean. And um, you know, you will always pick up stuff no matter how many times you vacuum, but it has picked up lots of fine dust and fur. Yeah, that's not so bad. I'm quite impressed with that. Considering it was on low mode the whole time, that's quite a nice bit of pickup on it. So we know that it picks up. Um, let's empty this onto the floor. Okay, so to empty it, you simply push the button here and the lid drops open and then you drop it into your bin. Can be hard to get out. Which I guess is why you have this hook. To hook bits out. And as you can see, let me move down, the inside of that is really dusty. Very, very fine. Lots of fine particles of dust. And it's gone everywhere because it's got static. So as soon as the dust starts to come out, you're going to get static dust over the machine. So, hmm. Okay, that's that. Let's pick up the mess. And the machine I'm using today to pick up the mess is my Hoover Eco G. So we know that when we empty it, we're going to have dust. You're going to have to wipe the dust off it. The, the most important thing I want to look at is this, which is the, this internal filter. So let's pull this out. <laughs> that is absolutely caked. There's even bits coming off it now. That's, that's absolutely caked in dust. So these filters, you're going to have to clean these every single time you use it. So I'm going to perform a little experiment. Let me put this down just on the floor gently. And here we have the vacuum. And you can pull out the inside of this. So there doesn't appear to be a layer of dust around that motor cover, which is pretty good. As you can see, there's dust all around it, but there's no dust going into it that I can see. This is the shroud, and that is absolutely caked in dust. So I'm going to vacuum this out, and I'm going to vacuum this out. So I've got some cloths, and I've got two wet wipes and I'm going to clean the mesh and I'm going to clean the inside of the vacuum. So this little device here, this is the vacuum um, filter cleaner. You put your filter in, put it on, preferably on high, and then twist it and inside there are little brushes that will clean the filter for you so you can pop it back in. So the filter, that's that's the new filter, all right? So the new filter, I'm gonna pop into the machine, like so. I'm now going to attach the cleaning 
module to it, the filter cleaner. I'm gonna take the dirty filter that we used to clean the whole house, pop that inside, close the lid. I'm then going to turn, so the inside of this you can see is absolutely spotlessly clean. I cleaned it all out and I'll show you inside of there. Nice and clean. That's a clean filter, as you can see. So pop that in there. I'm going to put it on and then I'm going to put it on to max. Okay, and I've given that a really clear, a really thorough clean. And yeah, it's done a really good job. That is that is pretty clean, considering what it was. It was absolutely caked. Let's put you back to normal, there we go. That was absolutely caked. And it's done a pretty good job of cleaning it. So yeah, that's pretty cool. So you can get your filters cleaned really quick. But where are you putting that dirt? You were putting that dirt and dust back into the machine. You can see it in there, you can see it on the inside. You can see it underneath. And you can see it very fine back onto the clean filter. So what I would do is to put this onto a different vacuum. I've got it on my, there, turn it on. Yeah, Max. So now I have re really, really removed all the dust off the filter and this one, <laughs> but it's in another filter, <laughs> it's in another vacuum. So the idea of this is really, really good. I really like the idea because the filters will get really manky after regular use. You will have to clean these all the time. But what you're doing is basically taking the dirt off one filter and then putting it back into your clean machine. So I like the concept, but not the idea of putting dirt back onto the machine. So the next thing we need to look at now is the HEPA filter. If we twist it off. And surprisingly enough, that looks really clean. Motion detected at the front door. Huh. Okay, so that's really good. That that is that is relatively clean. That is not as dirty as you as the um as the other filter. So that's not so bad. Um, I will um obviously use this and then come back to you in a future video once I've used it for a couple of weeks, and then we'll take a look at this. But this is just the first look. No, nothing on the inside either. So that's pretty good. So the dust hasn't gone um, out of here. Let's put this back on to charge. Okay, so what was my overall uh, opinions of using it um, when I was cleaning the whole house? And it's not, it's not that bad and it's not that good. It's kind of like something which is in between. Now I've come to this conclusion 
bang on the clock's ticking, time it ringing. Okay, so it's finished. Um, here I've got a price list. So this is what I wanted to talk to you guys next now is price. And this Tinkle Peel one is £194.65. It was two two nine. That is on Amazon. All these prices are Amazon. I have no idea about other stores in other countries. This is UK, Amazon.co.uk. So other machines, we've got the Dibia Cordless, which is 132 69 and it looks dire. The Neo Cordless, which is 64 99 and that looks dire. The Bissell Icon is £225.34, was £349.99. Uh, they've also got another one, which is the Bissell Multi-Reach, uh, which is £199.99. The Black & Decker is £158.93. That looks awful. The Musili Cordless, £139.99. Again, looks bad. The Bosch Unlimited Series 8, which is £279. That looks pretty good. I'd like to try that. The Eufy Home Vac is £239.99, which is, looks awful. Vax One Power Blade 3 is £179. Um, and again, it, it's, 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 it looks like um it's pickup and filtration and everything looks pretty much like this um the musu cordless vac is 118 pounds 99 the shark cordless iz201 uk is 239 pounds uh the alternic u11 is 199 pounds and comes with a basic uh, kind of like stand so this stand is nothing to do with uh, tinco that's that's my own one i've got um it, but it's got obviously it's got this wall mounting bracket that you can mount to the wall but the u alternic u11 does come with a kind of stand um uh, but again the machine didn't look very good so there's only two types of these machines, really, and that is awesome and meh. Obviously, the awesome one, awesome ones, now, please don't faint, are obviously going to be the V10 Animal, the V11 Absolute, sorry, the V10 Absolute, the V11 Absolute Gold, and the Dyson V11 Outside. But... The Dyson V10 Animal is £599. The Dyson v Absolute is £648. The V11 Absolute Gold is £599. The Dyson V11 Outside, Outsize, is £649. That, that's 650 quid. The, yeah, £649 for the Dyson V11 Outsize. I mean... The machines are really good. I have my Dyson V10 and I absolutely love it. I think it is brilliant. I use it every day. It's always used. Uh, the filters hardly get dirty on it. It's really easy to empty it. Um, you know, there's lots and lots of really good features on it. One thing I don't like is the um, it doesn't have a switch to hold it on. Um, and... Um, it's just so expensive. It's ridiculously expensive. This one, the Tinco Air Pure One, is £194.65. So that is pretty much a lower price for what you could get compared to other machines that I've been looking at. So this has the, um, if you like your gadgets and your smart connectivity things, then it has this, which is really good. It has the... Um, the Wi-Fi con connectivity to the app. That is a lot of things that this price range of vacuums do not have at all. Um, the light on the floor head. I actually found that quite useful when I was doing under the bed um, and under things as well. I, I quite like the light on it. But that's that's personal. That's personal taste. The a lot of these vacuums don't have the electric brush head like this does the electric um stair tool carpet tool um the upholstery brush and the dusting brush as well that's um 
some of them don't have that those tools at all and they're only a couple of quid cheaper so all in all there are things I like about this and there's things I don't. What do I like about it? I like the fact that it has the gadgety Wi-Fi connectivity. I'm, I'm that type of person. I like those kind of gadgets. Um, I like the lights on the floor head. That was a feature that I really did like. The only thing is missing from this is it needs a medium power because you've only got automatic or high. The automatic one, it does pick up, but it doesn't pick up as much as I would like it to. When you have it on max, it's really hard to push on thicker carpet. It really clamps itself down and then you totally lose, lose torque of the brush roll. If that clamps to the carpet, that brush roll struggles and you can really hear it struggle. Um, but for, in its price range, which like I said is £194.65, I would say yes, this has got a lot of things going for it for its price. Um, I don't like this uh, filter. I like this filter cleaning attachment, but I don't like the fact that you've got to put it back onto the machine to put the dust and dirt back into it, especially because it picks up a lot of fine dust and this will pick up a lot of dust. Um, great idea, but not to put it back onto the machine. I don't know what they could have done, but anyway, it's, it's, I would rather... If you haven't got a, a, another vacuum that you use, like I do, like the pneumatic or whatever standing by, um, then I would, I would just wash them. I would just use it and wash it and use it and wash it. A lot of the machines as well, which are about the same price as this and a bit lower as well, don't have two filters and don't have this cleaning method. Even though it's flawed, it's still, they don't have it. So my overall opinion of it is that for the price i would not pay any more than 200 pound for it if you have a look and see what the majority of these stick vacs are on the market which are absolute absolute garbage i mean like absolute garbage like you'll see in the next video when i use my hoover freedom stick vac that is just been it. it is awful that was just under 100 pounds this is twice the price and you get a pretty good vac with some attachments and everything. But then, of course, the, the Rolls Royce of stick vacs, is, it has to be the Dyson. So this one is pretty much in shape like the older style of Dysons. So, for example, the V7 and V8. So the V7 Animal brand new, you can buy that on Amazon for £249. The Dyson V8 Animal, you can buy that on Amazon now for £349. So they will be better than this, but then the price reflects that. And um, this has some more smarter features on it with the auto. I did notice when I was going around with it that it was going up and down. Um, when I was going under the, under the edge of the bed a bit, then the power was going up, but not amazingly. So all in all, not everyone has got 650 quid to spend on a Dyson. Um, a lot of people don't want to be spending 70 or 80 or 90 pounds on a machine, which is absolute garbage. So this is a pretty good entry level vacuum cleaner. This is the Pure One X. It does have um other models with the digital display i've not tried them but if the performance and the attachment and everything look the same there is no way i'd spend more than 200 pounds on one of these so if you can get this now uh, like i said it is currently 194 pounds 65 um then do so but i would not pay any more than 200 pound and i wouldn't pay anything less than than under 100 quid so this is a pretty good mid-range budget stick vacuum for what you get just take care of the filters clean it regularly and you'll be fine but again like i said this is not a dyson this is this is nothing like it at all this is not as good as um, but it is pretty good for what's on the market at the moment which is pretty much all garbage so what would i like to see i would like to see a medium power mode on this I would also like to see a rubber top up there so I could lean it against something without it falling over. I really do miss that feature. Uh, top marks on the little switch. I think that is really clever so you can leave it on. 
I really do like that. Uh, the filtration cleaning thing, that really could do with a bit of work. Um, but all in all, it's not bad for the price. So my next video is going to be a big mess test demonstration. We're going to be using the Tinco. Um, this this tin, Tinco, we're going to be using my Hoover Freedom stick vac. And we're also going to be using my Dyson V10 on big dry mess test. So I hope you've enjoyed. It's been really hard to be, um, and, um, you know, to, to, to try and be fair on this because if you look what is on the market, look really, really carefully because there are so many brands out there and they really, really are rubbish. So this one is pretty good for its price, but don't pay over 200 pound. It's definitely not worth over 200 quid. So thank you very much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed. Please comment, like, and subscribe for more videos. And uh, yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye, y'all.